Deep in the earth of Montana, a child's grave held the power to shatter history. This wasn't just about old bones, it was about a genetic bombshell that would force us to rewrite everything we thought we knew about the first Americans. When scientists finally decoded the DNA from this 12,900 year old infant, they uncovered a truth so profound it made textbooks obsolete overnight. The child's DNA revealed something that should have been impossible. He was directly ancestral to Native Americans from Canada to Chile, from the frozen north to Tierra del Fuego. One child, one burial, one genome, and suddenly the entire story of how humans populated two continents had to be completely rewritten. This is a story that is, to put it mildly, unbelievable. In 1968, on a chilly day in southern Montana near the tiny town of Wilsall, two construction workers were digging for sandstone when their equipment hit something unusual. Buried six feet beneath the surface were the fragile remains of a human child. The child was found with more than 115 tools made of stone and antlers, and dusted with red ochre, suggesting a deliberate burial. This discovery could have easily been dismissed or lost to time. Instead, it became the single most important clue in solving the greatest mystery of American prehistory. Who were the first Americans, and where did they come from? The site, known today as the Anzic site, was unlike anything seen before. The bones belonged to a little boy, somewhere between one and two years old. He was surrounded by more than 100 ancient tools, exquisitely crafted spear points and specialized implements. Scientists immediately recognized them as belonging to the Clovis people, a culture long believed to be among the first to populate North America. But what made this burial extraordinary was the red ochre. Over 30 pounds of this sacred powdered iron ore had been carefully sprinkled over the boy. In ancient cultures, red ochre symbolized life, blood, and rebirth. This wasn't just a burial, it was a deeply spiritual ceremony. Someone nearly 13,000 years ago had loved this child enough to give him one of the most elaborate send-offs imaginable. The thing nobody tells you is that this act of love would end up answering questions those ancient people could never have dreamed of. For decades, the Anzic child was an important but frustrating puzzle piece. The human bones date to 10,705 plus slash 35, 14 C years BP, approximately 12,707 and 12,556 calendar years BP, and were directly associated with Clovis tools. The artifacts confirmed the Clovis people were expert hunters capable of taking down mammoths with their signature fluted spear points. But questions remained. Where did the Clovis people come from? How did they spread across two continents so quickly? And were they truly the ancestors of modern Native Americans? The bones held the answers, but for 40 years the technology to read them didn't exist. The skeleton sat in storage, a silent witness to a lost world waiting for science to catch up. By the early 2000s, ancient DNA analysis became possible. A team led by renowned Danish geneticist S.K. Willerslev turned their attention to the Anzic child. The skeleton was discovered in 1968, but only recently have scientists been able to recover and analyze complete genomes from such ancient samples. They knew if they could sequence his genome, they'd be looking at a snapshot of the entire founding population of the Americas. This was the oldest genome ever recovered from the New World, a genetic time capsule. Extracting DNA from 13,000-year-old bones is incredibly delicate. The DNA is shattered into millions of pieces and contaminated with bacteria and modern handling. It's like trying to reassemble a single shredded book from a library that's been through an earthquake and a flood. But using cutting edge technology, they isolated the boy's authentic DNA. We sequenced the genome to an average depth of 14.4x, reading each section multiple times to ensure accuracy. When the results came in, they were staggering. The first revelation confirmed the boy's ancestry. His DNA showed he was unequivocally related to ancient people from Siberia. We show that the gene flow from the Siberian Upper Paleolithic Malta population into Native American ancestors is also shared by the Anzic I individual, and thus happened before 12,600 years BP. This proved once and for all that Native Americans' ancestors came from Asia, crossing the Bering Land Bridge that once connected Siberia and Alaska. But the real bombshell came next. The team compared the Anzic child's genome to modern indigenous people across the Americas. We show that the Anzic one individual is more closely related to all indigenous American populations than to any other group. From the Cree in Canada to the Maya in Mexico to the Mapuche in Chile, every indigenous person sampled shared a direct, undeniable genetic link with this one little boy from Montana. In fact, about 80% of Native Americans mainly those in Central and South America, are direct descendants of the Anzic baby's people. This was unbelievable. 
The Clovis people weren't just one of the first groups in the Americas. They were the direct ancestors of almost everyone. They were the founding fathers and mothers of an entire hemisphere. The boy's mitochondrial DNA, a lineage called D4H3A, is so rare today it's found in less than 1% of Native Americans. D4H3A is one of the rare mtDNA lineages specific to Native Americans, distributed along the Pacific coast. Yet its presence proved it was a founding lineage that traveled south and branched into hundreds of nations and tribes. The Anzic child's DNA redrew the entire map of the past. Our data are compatible with the hypothesis that Anzic I belonged to a population directly ancestral to many contemporary Native Americans. The Americas were populated by a single founding group, the ancestors of the Anzic child, who moved south from the Bering Land Bridge with incredible speed. This group split into at least two branches. One became ancestors of northern peoples, the other populated most of North America and all of Central and South America. The speed of this expansion is mind-blowing. Within just 1,000 to 2,000 years, these people spread from Alaska to Chile, over 10,000 miles. That's five to 10 miles every single year through unknown territory filled with massive predators and extreme climates. They were master explorers, colonizing two continents faster than any other group of humans had ever colonized new land. The first Americans didn't just walk, they ran. But this story isn't just about ancient bones and scientific breakthroughs, it's deeply personal. The burial site lies on the property of Sarah Anzik's parents. When Sarah Anzik was two years old in 1968, construction workers discovered the tools and skull on her family's land. Sarah grew up with this ancient child as part of her family's story. She became a genome researcher at the National Institutes of Health, and sequencing the Anzik child's DNA became her personal mission. But she was cautious. She knew that to many indigenous people, analyzing ancestral remains is a deep violation of spiritual beliefs. Since Anzic I was discovered on private property, she wasn't legally required to consult tribal members, but she chose to anyway. She discussed her goals with representatives of several Montana tribes before proceeding. The thing nobody tells you is the human cost of scientific progress. For decades, scientists studied Native American remains without consent or knowledge of living descendants. The Anzic child was not just a data point, he was a beloved son, an ancestor. Before publishing their findings, the team reached out to Montana tribes. They traveled to reservations and presented their findings to tribal elders from the Crow, Cheyenne, and other nations. They explained that this child was a direct ancestor to the people in that very room. The reaction was powerful. Shane Doyle of Montana State University, a Crow tribal member and study author, said the indication of such ancient roots fits with what many tribal people already believed. This discovery confirms what tribes have never really doubted, that we've been here since time immemorial. For the tribes, this wasn't news. It was confirmation of what their oral histories had said for centuries. The science was aligning with their sacred traditions. Together, the scientists, the Anzic family, and Montana tribes made a historic decision. On June 28, 2014, nearly 46 years after his discovery, the Anzic child was reburied. A ceremony was held blending modern science with ancient tradition. Representatives from multiple tribes wrapped his remains in a buffalo robe, sang traditional songs, and returned him to the earth in a secret location. It was a landmark moment, a new model for how science and indigenous culture could work together. For the tribes, it was proof of what they always knew. For science, it was a lesson in humility and respect. The legacy of the Anzic child is twofold. He rewrote history with his DNA, proving that all Native Americans from Alaska to Argentina share common ancestry that traces back through his people. Their technology and tools vanished, says Sarah Anzik, but now we understand that their genetic legacy lives on. But he also helped rewrite the rules for respectfully engaging with the past. The Anzik child proved that science and tradition can tell the same story, that indigenous oral histories and cutting-edge genetics can arrive at the same truth. His DNA revealed the most dramatic human migration story ever told a single population sweeping through two continents in evolutionary time, adapting to every climate from Arctic tundra to tropical rainforest. Every Native American alive today carries a genetic echo of this Montana boy and the people who loved him enough to bury him with such ceremony 12,900 years ago. He was not a chief or great warrior. He was just a baby who died too young, but his legacy is greater than any conqueror's. The Anzic child is home now, returned to the Montana earth where his parents laid him to rest. But his story, written in his DNA, will echo through history forever, reminding us that we are all connected, all descendants of brave ancestors who crossed continents and changed the world. What do you think? Does science have the right to uncover secrets that ancestors intended to keep buried? 
Or is understanding our shared human story worth the cost? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.